Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to review the basic operations of your 614B centrifuge. If you're looking for something specific, look at the bottom of your screen. This video is divided into chapters so you can easily find what you need. Basic Operations Guide 614B Part 1 Unboxing the 614B To open your centrifuge box, you'll want a flathead screwdriver to remove the secure packaging. With your box open, you can slide the centrifuge out. Your centrifuge should come with a bagged accessories kit and with additional tube holders already in the rotor, but we'll cover all of this in detail later. Once you're done unpacking, you should have all of these items. Part 2. Setting up the 614B Let's start by making sure we have all our necessary accessories. These come out of your accessory bag, the small bag packed on top of your centrifuge. You'll need your tube holders, your quick start insert, and your centrifuge with its attached power cord and pre-installed rotor. If you're missing anything, please contact Drucker Diagnostics. Start by placing the centrifuge on a flat, level, sturdy surface. Leave at least 6 inches or 15 centimeters of space on all sides and at least 21 inches or 54 centimeters of height above the lid so that you can easily open it. Locate the power cord on the back of your 614B and plug it into the wall. Make sure your outlet is easily accessible so you can unplug your centrifuge for cleaning and maintenance. Now we can twist our lid latch and lift the lid open. You can see our rotor here inside. Your 614B comes with its rotor and black tube holders installed and ready to run. You will need to place all six tube holders anytime you run the centrifuge, even if you are not spinning six tubes. Properly seated tube holders can be moved slightly in their slots. This is by design. That's what allows them to be easily changed. They do not click or snap into place. Your 614B has only authentic Drucker Diagnostics parts, including the rotor and tube holders. You should only use authentic Drucker Diagnostics parts in your centrifuge, as anything else may damage your centrifuge or even be dangerous. Now that we have our 614B set up, we can look at our controls. Part 3, Controls Overview. Your 614B runs at a speed of 3250 RPM or 1100 XG. Your time is adjustable. Today, we're going to learn how to adjust that time and how that time adjustment operates your centrifuge. Your 614B has all of its controls right here on the front panel. The knob here controls the time. It's also the centrifuge's on switch. The numbers around the timer knob indicate minutes of spin. To start the 614B, simply turn the dial to the number of minutes you want to spin. The centrifuge will start automatically. The rotor will begin to accelerate and the centrifuge will run for the time selected before slowing down. To stop the centrifuge mid-cycle, simply twist the lid latch. The rotor will immediately begin slowing down. Once it has come to a full stop, you may open the lid and retrieve your samples. And those are your controls. Now, let's look at how to load your 614B and spin your first samples. Part 4, Spinning Samples. When loading the 614B, or any centrifuge, it is important to make sure you load the samples in a way that keeps the rotor balanced. Loading balanced samples helps keep the lab safe and ensures the maximum lifespan for your centrifuge. Step one, make sure that all six tube holders are properly seated in the 614B rotor. You must run all six black or all six blue tube holders. Do not mix them. They do not snap or click into place, but should be seated one per slot in the rotor. Step two, load your samples. When loading your samples, opposing tube holders must be of equal weight as shown in the diagram on your screen. So, if we're loading two tubes, just put them across from each other. If it's three, make a triangle, four, a square, and so on. If you're spinning an odd number of tubes, you'll need a counterbalance tube. This should be an identical tube filled with an equivalent volume of water 
from the tube across from it. The counterbalance should be roughly the same weight as your filled tube. With your tube holders in place and your samples loaded and balanced, you're ready to spin. Close the lid. Secure the lid latch by pressing it down gently and turning it a quarter turn counterclockwise. Next, select your time using the timer knob. The numbers around this knob indicate minutes of spin time. You may select any value from 0 to 30 minutes. In our case, we're going to run for 3 minutes, but you can run for whatever time you like. Once you set the timer, the centrifuge will start automatically. The rotor will begin to accelerate, and the centrifuge will run for the time selected. Once the run is complete, the centrifuge will begin to slow down, eventually reaching a complete stop. You may then open the lid and retrieve your samples. And that's all there is to it. You just ran your first cycle. Now, let's look at how you should clean and maintain your 614B. Part 5, Cleaning and Maintaining the 614B. Your 614B requires no regular maintenance. Cleaning is easy too. Start by unplugging your 614B from the wall. Make sure to wear appropriate PPE in accordance with your lab's policies. Use isopropyl alcohol or 10% 5500 ppm bleach solution to clean. Only the approved isopropyl alcohol or 10% bleach solution should be used. Any other substance is not approved and may cause damage to your centrifuge and void the warranty. Apply your isopropyl alcohol or 10% bleach solution with a cloth. Do not submerge the centrifuge in water. If necessary, the rotor may be removed for easier cleaning. Links to our videos on how to remove and reinstall the rotor are popping up on your screen now. Dry your 614B immediately after finishing cleaning and disinfecting and be sure it's plugged in so it's ready for the next use. Your 614B does not require any regular maintenance, but you may wish to confirm the spin speed. To do that, you'll need your facility's calibrated photo tachometer. Ours is shown here for reference. Your rotor has a reflective strip on it so the photo tachometer can easily detect the speed. Start a five minute spin, wait a minute or so for it to reach its peak speed, and point your photo tachometer down through the clear lid. You'll quickly get a reading. And that brings us to the end of our basic operations guide for the 614B. We got our centrifuge out of its box, set it up, and reviewed its accessories. We've reviewed our controls and spun our first cycle. And we learned how to clean and maintain it. If you have any other questions about your 614B, you can always contact Drucker Customer Service and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.